Hamashiach, a lion of Judah, agony jimba, Yeshua. Yeshua Hamashiach, Lion of Judah, Agone Chimba. Yeshua Hamashiach, Lion of Judah, Agone Chimba. Lion of Judah, Agony Chimba Yeshua, Hamashiach Lion of Judah, Agony Chimba Yeshua, Hamashiach Yeshua Hamashiach, Lion of Judah, Agony Chimba. Yeshua Hamashiach, Lion of Judah, Agony Chimba. Lion of Judah, Agonichim. Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, Agonichim. Lion of Judah, Agonichim. Lion of Judah, Agonichim. Lion of Judah. I am of Judah. I go in chimba. I am of Judah. I go in chimba. I go in chimba. I go in chimba. Mm-hmm.
Chila, the anointed one, you are Yeshua. Chila, the anointed one, you are Yeshua. You are Yeshua, Yeshua.
want you to own me Easy and do
Master, you are a healer, you are a savior, you are a redeemer, and there is no like you, Jesus.
Lord, you speak blue. God. You died on the cross when others die for their gods. Jesus, you know the use me blue. Jesus, you know the use me blue. Abba, you are so good. You know the use me blue. You are so good. You know the use we play. Oh, 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 I go talk for this God. You know they use me blue. Now wait till I go give for this God for everything he don't do. You know they use us blue. You know they use me play. You know they use me play. You know they use me play. You know they use me blue. Child Jesus. You know they use me blue. Too much, too much, too much. You know they use me play. Too much, too much love. Too much love. You know they use me play. My darling Jesus, you know they use me play. You know they use me play. Oh, you know they use me play. You know they use me play. Hara 
You know, you can declare over that situation. In the midst of that storm, you can stand and you can testify. You can be confident in the Lord. You can release and declare your confidence in your father. That my father, I know you don't play with me. I know you don't joke with me. I know you can never forsake me. You know they use me play, Baba. I know you don't play. You don't play around when it concerns my destiny. You don't play around, Baba. You are not man that you should lie. I am your daughter, your beloved, your child. I love you and I thank you for loving me so much. I know that it is well with my soul. I know that it is well with my family. If you can only stand in the place of worship, in the midst of that battle, and you begin to declare your faith in the Lord, and then you will hear, you will hear good news. And then you will hear like Paul and Silas in prison. Ah, they didn't care about the confinement. They didn't care about the walls around them. They didn't care about the chains upon their hands and their feet. They began to praise God. They began to share and declare their faith and their confidence in the Lord. And suddenly there was an earthquake. <laughs> oh, lift up your voice and worship Him. Lift up your voice and let your Father know that you have confidence in Him. That He doesn't joke with you. He doesn't play with you. That He will do that which you cannot do for yourself. That He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Lift up your voice and worship your Father. We trust in you, Father. We depend on you, Yahweh. We know you never fail us, Daddy. We declare our faith in you, Jesus. We have confidence in you, Father. For you are the rock of our lives. You are our salvation. You are a healer. Yeah. about your goodness I am just so giddy in my seat Baba when I think about your goodness I just can't contain my joy when I think about your goodness I just want to run and tell the world let them hear let them know I want to scream it from the mountain top how could you are you feel to me how good you are you been to me Bye. 
pa 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 For your gods, you feed me, Lord. When some feed in your gods, you fight for me. When some fight for your gods, carry me. You carry me. When some carry their gods, you feed me. You feed me, Lord. When some feed their gods, you fight for me. Chi 
most high God. You are the most high God. Jehovah. You are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high God. Jehovah. You are the most high God. Jehovah. I just want to minister. Can I minister, woman of God? Can I minister? What? Can I interrupt? As we're singing this song, Jehovah, you are the most high God. <laughs> the Lord showed me a young lady who, who is married. She's had <laughs> two miscarriages, three. I hear three, the third. She's on the third. And she's about to miscarry the baby. A young lady married. She's miscarried too, and she's on the third. And the third one, she's starting to like, you know, see the symptoms again. And th this young lady, you know yourself, you will see. This is how it happened to you. You will just suddenly just feel blood dropping down your your, your legs. That's how you've lost your two babies in marriage. There's no child. <laughs> and as we were singing that song, you are actually laying in bed right now because. The doctors have given you bed rest because the baby is about to come. <laughs> but the Lord said you will not lose that child. Amen. You will not lose that child. Amen. You, will not, you, you will not lose Amen. that child. And that child is going to be a male child. And you will have that baby and that child will serve the Lord. <laughs> the Lord said that is it. No more miscarriage. That spirit of devourer that has been devouring the fruit of your womb is hereby destroyed just lift up your voice wherever you are and just worship the Lord and say thank you Lord you are the most high God and you have the final say in my life just thank the Lord thank the Lord for deliverance thank the Lord for breakthrough he's promised in Exodus chapter 23 he's promised that you will not cast forth your fruit before time he said there, in other words there will be no abortion he said, nothing shall be cast forth before time. He said, the number of days I will fulfill. The Lord shall fulfill that pregnancy. It will go on to full term. The baby will be born well and you, you are also well. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. I've never heard the name. I've never heard a prophecy the name and I heard the name Vivian <laughs> your name is Vivian and, and this lady is actually in Africa Vivian that's your name that's to you the Lord is talking Vivian you have that child <laughs> you carry your own child Amen. oh bless you Jesus carry on the most time you are the most I got Oh, my God. 
you know when I when I saw the lady with miscarriages as we continued to worship and the Lord just carried me on a memory lane of testimonies of some ladies <clears throat> and the Lord you know about these people these two ladies who have been in our ministry and the Lord said to me to say this testimony and and speak through this testimony to bless someone so the Lord is blessing women with, with the fruit of the womb Amen. tonight is the fruit of the womb blessing Amen. I didn't prepare this I have asked the Lord this is your time this, this is your day you want to worship God and I'm going to worship with you so <clears throat> Holy Spirit <coughs> give a word for your people and the Lord said I'm blessing my people with the fruit of the womb some women who have been struggling with conception and especially women who lose babies who conceive and Amen. lose the baby miscarriages Amen. so he carried me on the memory lane of you know this two particular ladies and of course the Lord has done so many things in the lives of some women that we have come across in our 10 years of ministry <coughs> excuse me but this two particular ladies I shared the testimony so a few years ago there was one lady that you know visited our ministry for the first time and uh, before she came the Lord began to minister to me he said to call the children to 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 come and dance on the altar and you know it was it was during praise and worship right and we're praising and worshiping the Lord said call all the children to come and dance on the altar so I called the children and they came and the Lord said give them the altar cloth to to begin to worship with it and I never had that kind of an instruction so I obeyed and I and I pulled the altar cloth I gave it to them all of them said the Lord said all the children should hold it and be you know just worshiping with it so the children were you know worshiping with the altar cloth in the air it was just going back and forth and as they were doing that the Lord said to me a child shall be born you remember he yes. said a child shall be born and the child will be wrapped in the cloth, in the cloth. and within within less than, two less than two minutes as I gave that prophecy in the ministry in the church a lady who was a member of our ministry walked in with a, with a, a friend who was visiting for the first time and I knew, I knew the friend so when they walked in the friend was heavily pregnant and as soon as they walked in they left, the Lord said to me that is the lady that child will be born the Lord said bring the baby uh, tell her to come on the altar wrap her with that cloth and I didn't know what was going on right I called her she came in front and and if the lady she, if she watches this video she, she, she can attest to this and I wrapped her that was that was about eight seven maybe seven six years about six years ago and I the altar cloth I wrapped her with it I began to speak as the Lord was speaking through me to her and she went under the power of God and you know she was on the floor suddenly and we wrapped her I wrapped her with that cloth the power of God hid her and to God be the glory at the, at the end of the service she testified she said she came to the ministry she came that day to visit us and she was believing God for a thought she said she had a complicated pregnancy and the doctors had said the child will not be born well the pregnancy will not get to the full term and even if it does the child will die that the pregnancy is a complicated there's no way she will have that baby so she's pulled through with the pregnancy <clears throat> excuse me and so and I said to her I said okay the Lord has cancelled the doctor's report this baby will be born so a few months after on the day of her delivery the friend that brought her called me and said she's in labor right now the baby I said keep me posted I just kept praying and she said the baby is born and the baby is, is the dying the baby was born but the baby was dying he started losing his respiration and I said the Lord spoke already and that was like two months or one month before I said nothing will go wrong we trust the Lord the Lord did it already so we just we just trusted God we began to pray and to God be the glory that baby is a bound it's a healthy baby boy to this day hallelujah no complication healthy hallelujah so the Lord brought that in my spirit and he brought me again to the second sister that came to a ministry recently uh, in January during an anniversary a sister came to our ministry in oh. yes our anniversary and um and she was heavily pregnant too you know and when and, and the lord said to me 
he said to me to take that cloth, the altar cloth. He, ran, he gave me the same, he carried me on that same testimony of that sister many years ago. He said to me that I'm about to do the same thing for this sister. She's having a complicated pregnancy as well. He said, take that cloth and wrap her. I did the same thing. I caught her. I said, this is what the Lord said. And I shared this testimony with them. And she began to cry. She's, she never told me anything. She was just visiting. And I took that cloth, wrapped her. And the pregnancy was, you know, it turned out that it was a complicated pregnancy as well. But to God be the glory. They had told her also that, you know, there was, there was the same things, you know, about the baby. Bouncy baby girl was born. Healthy and doing well. So the Lord carried me on that memory right now. He said, he's blessing women with the fruit of the womb and he's arresting the spirit of abortion, the spirit of death, you know, when, when you, spirit of miscarriage. Amen. So if you're a woman that you have been going through miscarriages or you, you've had pregnancies and you've had complications. And the Lord also reminded me, I mean, of another sister. I don't want to call the names, you know. And she was pregnant too. And the doctors told her that, oh, this baby had a... Uh, um, a kind of sick, sick, you know how they will tell you some your babies have neurological conditions in the womb where they will do a test when the baby is you know a few months old they say some complications to abort the baby the doctors actually recommended abortion when she was like two three months pregnant and i said no you will not abort that baby you cannot say no i said the lord blesses it adds no sorrow i said that baby will be born so it was a long 88 months of you know pregnancy and it was a long journey but so, you know, they said the child, they, they brought all kinds of complications. First, it was kind of neurological uh, the problem. And then towards the end of uh, the term of her pregnancy, they said it was, um, that, that the baby had, um, what is that again? Um, the baby had um, a, a sickle cell, sickle cell anemia. They said the baby had sickle cell anemia. And then another time they came out again and they said the baby would have, um, 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 what is this thing again that you cough blood? Pneumonia? No, not pneumonia. This, I forgot to tuberculosis. They said the baby has tuberculosis. A baby that is not born. They said the baby has tuberculosis. All kind of diagnosis they gave that baby in the womb. And I just laughed. I said to her, let the devil do his worst. Let the devil continue to di diagnose the baby. <laughs> They're wasting their time. They, nothing, they will, the baby will be born. The baby will be born. And when that baby was born, we, we went to the hospital, you and I. Mm -hmm. And the doctors, the baby was born premature, right? The baby was born like two weeks, about two weeks early or so. And so they, they wanted to keep her in the hospital for, 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 for a long time till the baby is uh, recovered. So we went there a few days after, right? And we carried that baby and we began to pray. But that baby was born and I asked her, I said, so have they done all the tests to confirm the diagnosis? There was nothing. All those diagnoses they gave from when the baby was two months old, there was not even one of them found in that child. Healthy baby, beautiful baby girl. So we began to, and I said, I will began to pray on, for that baby, and the power of God hit her, and she began to, she began to manifest in my arms, and within a, the, ne the, the next day or so, two days, they, they released them home, <laughs> <laughs> and that baby, that baby had, that baby is doing very well. It's a grown girl now, walking around, right? One year something now, walking around. Hallelujah. So I say this to encourage you because the Lord put that in my heart right now to bless, bless some women out there. I say this to encourage you that if you are pregnant, if you're one of those women that you're pregnant and the doctors have told you that your child has some, you know, some complications that um, is better, they've advised you to abort the baby. Don't. Do not abort the baby. Trust the Lord. Right now, put your hand on your, on your stomach as we pray for you. And I stand on um, Psalms one. 27 verse 3 the, uh, the bible says it says children are heritage of the lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward so it is god that has blessed and when the lord blesses he has no sorrow that is your heritage from the lord that is your reward from the lord so no devil can destroy what god has what god has done when god blesses he has no sorrow him whom god has blessed no man can curse Balaam said to Balaam, he said, you cannot curse those whom the Lord has blessed. You are already a blessed woman from, from before you were born and your child is blessed. Jesus lives in you. You are already a blessed woman. Your child is already a blessed child. So nobody can curse that child. Anything that the doctors are saying, let, let us pray with you right now. Put your hand on your stomach and believe God. Hallelujah. And if you are also barren, you've been struggling with barrenness, or you've been struggling with, uh, you know, uh, uh, abortion, um, 
miscarriages. Put your hand on your stomach as we pray for you. We pray right now, Father, in one accord. I join my faith with the faith of um, Minister Anastasia. We believe, oh Lord God Almighty, for all the women as you have spoken to me to share this testimony and to bless your people. Lord, I speak blessing upon the fruit of the womb. Lord, we cancel every doctor's report upon the babies in the womb. We cancel the report in the name of Jesus. We cancel it, we overwrite it. We take authority over that decree that is decreed against that baby in the womb against those babies in the womb. We, we, we take authority over the decrees and we decree and we declare that the baby shall go, get to full term and be born healthy in the name of Jesus. There shall, there shall be no complication. We declare that baby is born with good health in the name of Jesus. There is no complication. We speak healing right now into the womb. We speak healing upon that baby in that womb. We speak healing in the name of Jesus over that sickness, over that disease. We cancel the, the lies of the devil. We cancel the lies of the devil. Every evil hand upon that child, upon those children in your wombs, we come against them by the power of the blood of Jesus. We break the arm of Satan against those babies in the name of Jesus. Amen. When the Lord has blessed, he adds no sorrow. Any sorrow that has been added, we remove it right now by the power of the blood of Jesus. We break the covenant of it. We break the covenant of miscarriages. We destroy the power of it in the name of Jesus. And we declare your womb is blessed. The fruit of your womb is blessed. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. What the Lord did for all these women, the Lord will do it for you. I cannot count. I have countless testimonies of fruit of the womb. What, what God has done through our ministry to women. I cannot count them. They're countless. And the Lord has put that in my heart to bless you tonight. And so I declare and decree that that which we have spoken upon your life is permanent in the name of Jesus. And is sealed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And say amen. amen. And trust the Lord and have no fear. Have no fear. Do not live in fear. Fear is a bondage. Satan brings will bring fear. You may go back to the doctors and they may say the same thing or the same worst things. Just, you know, just reject it. And believe in, the, in God's report. The word of God. Don't believe in the doctor's report. Trust the Lord. And you will testify like all these ladies have testified. Of the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus mighty name. It is God that gives children. Not the doctor. Not the devil. It is the Lord that gives children. And he adds no sorrow. Hallelujah. So there shall be no sorrow. In Jesus name. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. Over to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for the powerful day. What a powerful word from the pastor. I pray and I ask that everything that has been spoken, every word that has been said or sung today, it is sealed in the power of the blood of Jesus. We seal it in the blood of Jesus and we declare and we decree from today going forward that you will have a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. You will have a testimony. Even for those of you who are not pregnant or who are not inspecting babies, don't feel left out. God is dropping gifts. He's giving gifts right now. Just receive your own and believe him for it. Whatever you're inspecting of him, he will do it. Just listen to all the worships. It's, it's talking about God not playing. Yes. <laughs> listen to all the worships. God is a God of faithfulness. He is a God who is faithful. He keeps all his promises. He never fails. I can use a perfect example from the Bible. If you look at Solomon, when he built the, 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 the temple, he, he prayed to God when he, he, he built the temple. He asked God for one thing. He said, Lord, I pray that as, as this temple is here, that when your children come here and they call upon your name, you will hear their cry. Right? And then the, Israel gets taken over. The temple gets destroyed. And then God uses someone else to rebuild the temple, right? Yeah. Now we're 2,000, how many years later after the death of Jesus Christ, you still have a remnant of the temple, the Wailing Wall. People are bringing prayers there like crazy because the Lord still keeps his covenants and he still keeps his promises. Even though the temple is broken down, just that wall alone, God still answers the prayers. So God is a God of faithfulness. He's a God of promises. He's a covenant keeping God. He has not forgotten you. Do not be discouraged. Be encouraged in the Lord and have faith. Rejoice. That's how you fight your battles. You, re you fight your battles with praises and dances and timbrels and psalteries and harps and singing. Oh, hallelujah. Just shout hallelujah. Jump up. Do it. <laughs> hallelujah. God is so good. 
Hallelujah. Have faith. Be encouraged. Peace, love, joy be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. those of you who are not, maybe we all men who are not pregnant, I'm not talking about men, women. Those of you who are men that you're not, of course, you don't expect the fruit of the womb. <laughs> Those of you, even some women who are not looking for for, for, for for children or babies, you may be having some other different conditions, different things you're going through. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Amen. Amen. Trust the Lord. You know, there's also spiritual abortion. Spiritual abortion, spiritual miscarriages. So as the Lord is, trust the Lord for this same word that has come forth, that even though you are not expecting to have a physical baby, but you're expecting to be pregnant spiritually with testimonies. And if you have been pregnant, and every time you get pregnant with your testimonies, and when the time of your testimonies come, something about it. In other words, when you are, you are build, you're believing God for a miracle, and you see it coming, and you build, you build, you build towards it, and when, you, when you're about to receive it, something always snatch it from your hands. You can believe God also by this word tonight, that there will be no more spiritual miscarriage. Amen. Upon your life. Amen. That everything that your hands shall touch shall be blessed from this Amen. day forward. Everything that you do shall prosper from this day forward. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands to the Lord and just begin to thank the Lord that, and declare that, Father, I thank you for the blessing of God upon my life. And I declare that as these hands are lifted up to you, Father, it will not go back down empty. Everything that these hands shall touch from this day forward, Father, shall be blessed. It shall be blessed. My hands are blessed because I am the blessed of the Lord. I will no longer lose my blessings. I will no longer lose my blessings. That power that has been aborting my blessings is hereby destroyed. I take authority over it. I overcome it. And I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I receive my testimony. I receive my victory. I receive my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have declared that, believe it. It is well with you. So the same anointing as is upon you and it will do that. It will perform that which needs to be performed in your life and bring glory unto the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Just one more thing before we close. Uh, just wanted to just put this out there. Um, for those of you guys who, you know, you're watching and you're like curious about this Jesus, like you're wondering who is this Jesus we're talking about? You're wondering who is this God? Why are these people more crazy about God than we than I am? Why can't I experience this? If you're curious about that, you want the Lord to be your Lord and Savior, or if, even just out of curiosity, I want you to pray this prayer with me to ask the Lord to reveal Himself to you. So you can repeat this prayer after me. So, dear Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. I believe. I believe that you died. That you died on the cross. On the cross of Calvary. Of Calvary. Two thousand twenty years ago. Two thousand twenty years ago. I believe. I believe that you are coming again. You are coming riding again, on a cloud, on the cloud of, glory of glory to receive me, to receive me onto, the place onto the place which you have prepared. You have prepared. Heavenly, Father, Heavenly Father, I pray and I ask, I and I ask that you send your Holy Spirit. To, Spirit, fill to fill my heart, fill my life. Fill my Father, life. I Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit transforms, transforms every, aspect, every, of aspect, of every aspect, aspect of my life. Transform every aspect of my life. Reveal your will Reveal to me. Will Put, to a me. Put a hunger for the things of God, things of God in, God. My heart. in my heart. Put a hunger, Put a hunger for, the souls. for the souls and give me a holy boldness, a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I declare, I declare today that I am saved, I am, saved. I am born again, I am born and again. I have Jesus and in have my heart. Jesus in in my heart. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Amen. Mighty name. I'm, never I'm never going back. Amen. I'm never going back. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. Hallelujah. Welcome to the kingdom of God, Amen. the kingdom of light. You have been translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And no more will you go backwards because the spirit of God indwells you right now. And he will lead you in the way you would go and bring you to the place that he has prepared for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> we want to just sing one song as we close. One goodbye song. My hands are blessed. Oh. My legs are blessed. Yes. My head is blessed. 
everything is blessed. My hands are blessed. My legs are blessed. My head is blessed. Everything 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 is blessed. My hands are blessed. My legs are blessed. My head is blessed. Everything is blessed. My hands are blessed. My legs are blessed.